What's good, ladies and gentlemen? Josh Coker here, aka Josh Miss Prime. You know what it is, and today I have a banger, so let's get right into it. For those of you that had followed me for any amount of time, whether it's on social media like Instagram or Facebook, or maybe you're someone who just came from Substack, which I recently started, or you're here watching this on YouTube, maybe you listen to the podcast. You probably know that for the last few months, I've been working on this story, Reflections of Darkness. It's book two in my main flagship series called Realm Wars. And today, I'm happy to announce it's no longer on pre-order. It is available in all major retailers. So, um, before I go into how you can get it and what to expect, well, actually, that's what I want to tell you. Like, Let me tell you what to expect from this book. First of all, for those of you that maybe didn't know that I was writing this series or didn't read the first book or whatever, um, let me tell you a little bit about it. So the best way I can describe Realm Wars is like if Star Wars and Lord of the Rings married and had a baby, that would be this, okay? It's got futuristic elements like high-tech high stuff, weapons, um, hover craft and and hollow holocoms and holograms uh, it's got that and a futuristic society but it also has the metaphysical supernatural abilities that you might find in a fantasy like lord of the rings anybody who's familiar with chris fox who's an independent author and his uh, magitech chronicles it's very akin to that anybody who maybe um is familiar with J.N. Cheney and his science fiction with portals and stuff, like it's akin to that. But those of you that maybe aren't familiar with these independent authors, um, but you do read science fiction books, I would say it's a little bit of Ender's Game, but with some more fantasy in it. Um, the other thing, uh, or another example might be um, Mass Effect. For those of you that play video games, Mass Effect is a pretty good example. If you're a first-person shooter pers uh, type, of, type of guy or gal and, and you don't really do those RPGs, then something like Destiny would probably be a good example. And um, th what you can expect in this book, aside from all of the usual space opera tropes, science fiction, fantasy type of deal, is it's, it's action-packed, but it also... Those of you who have followed my channel, particularly uh, the YouTube stuff, know that I'm a huge proponent of mythological storytelling. I even wrote a book called Mythological Storytelling, which we'll get to in a second. So uh, many of those elements are in here. The metamyth, monomyth, hero's journey, whatever you want to call it, you're going to find those things in there. A mentor, a hero, the shadow archetype other types of elements that you'll find in most mythological stories are also in here. What you won't find in here is none of my books, whether they're this book or fantasy, ever have any kind of political messaging or narratives or hidden agendas. You're going to find normal themes that you would see in any type of mythological story. And you're also not going to find in this particular story any kind of cursing or, or stuff like that. Because I set it in a futuristic world and I did want it to be not necessarily family friendly like PG-13. But I wanted it to be have that, like, uh, that Star Wars feel or Lord of the Rings feel where you, know, you could have your, your teenagers with you and not feel uncomfortable with any kind of scenes or language or anything. That's what I'm going for. This is not a YA book. I'm not marketing it as a YA book. But what I'm trying to say is if you're a parent or you are maybe a teenager, you, this is this is going to be fine. Like there's, there's no sexually explicit stuff in there or anything like that. Um, as a matter of fact, there's no curse words. But I do want to say because it is in a fantasy world, science fiction fantasy world, I have made up like, you know, different language sometimes, not necessarily curses, but would be used in situations. So, for example, 
uh, we're going to be space scrap if we don't get out of here right now. Something like that. Or I think the the harshest language that I use in this book is like, you know, you better get your AFTS in gear. A-F-T-S. So that's about as close as we get. So just in case you're wondering what that line is. I know some people are more sensitive about that than others. So that's what you'll get out of here. I would say, you know, it, my I have a 12-year-old daughter. She probably wouldn't read it just because she's not into that. But if she was into science fiction fantasy, this is the kind of book that I would be comfortable with her reading with me or reading to her or whatever. Let's see. Um, definitely when my son was 12, he would have read something like that. Uh, or 13 to 15, whatever, you know. Uh, let's see. So now that I've kind of explained to you what this book is and what it isn't, now let's just go over like how you can get it. Of course, you can get it from any of these retailers. I do have a preference that if you buy direct from me by clicking this link right here, more of the proceeds go to supporting me versus supporting Amazon or Google or some big company. But hey, listen, I get it. I buy stuff off of them all the time. So um, I understand like if you just have a preference of getting things from Amazon because it's like, hey, that's where all of my other books are. I have a Kindle or, or I have the Kindle app or whatever. Dude, don't worry about it. No sweat off my back. Um, you can get it here. And as you can see, it's already got one rating. Uh, this literally came in in the last few hours because I checked this morning and there were still no ratings on it. So that's great. I am not going to read it to you, but I will come down here and just, you could pause your screen for a second to read that if you want. So that's good news. And then let's say you're like, well, um, I, didn't read, I didn't read the first book. Sorry, I, I know I'm going here. I didn't read Dreams in Ruin. Am I going to have to read Dreams in Ruin in order to understand this book? The answer is no. Uh, what I did was I left a sample. And again, I'm bouncing around. I apologize. You can read the sample right here in your browser. By the way, I'm going to leave this link right here in the description so that everybody can ac have access to this page where you can read a sample in your browser. If you click on this, it's going to take you, it's actually going to take you here. It's going to take you here. But the point is you don't have to read book one. You can literally jump in right away. And I, what I did was just like in Netflix series where it's like, I, I don't know if you guys watch Survivor. It's one of the things my daughter and I watch. And sometimes like, We'll watch a bunch of episodes and then all of a sudden we go about a month without seeing it and then we jump right in and when we jump right in they have this previously on Survivor and they kind of catch you back up and remind you of what happened. That's what I've done here and as a matter of fact right here when it starts I'm I'm writing it in the from the point of view of Dash who's the main character. So she's explaining to you what happened in the last book from her own perspective so not only do i think it's fun uh to hear it from her own perspective but it allows you to jump right in and get right going it also for those of you that are like wondering is this kind of book for me or not then i would highly recommend at least trying out this sample because the one the one that's on amazon i think oh wrong book <laughs> The one that's on Amazon, I think you can go here and I think it lets you read to about chapter three. I could be wrong. But if you read the sample that's on Book Funnel, this lets you read to about chapter seven. So you can get a real good idea of if it's your flavor or not from that. And then just another thing, like maybe you're not an Amazon person, maybe you're a Google person or Kobo. It's basically available on all of these retailers and all of these other retailers right here. So no matter which retailer you like, I've tried to make it super easy for anybody to get it at their convenience. And then the last thing I'm, I'll say, I probably should have set it up front, but 
if you're someone who like just follows my stuff, my content for storytelling techniques and monomyth stuff, and you're like, uh, this has nothing to do with that. Actually, I would say it's the opposite. If you want to see how I take my mythological storytelling techniques and all the stuff that's in these other books and, and th like this book here, the iconic hero's journey that I wrote, like if you want to see how I implement them in a modern science fiction, meta mythic book, this is a perfect example for you to see how did Josh implement not just a mentor, but actually a female mentor. How did Josh implement a shadow character archetype? This is a shadow archetype. How did he put all of those things in place? This is a perfect example to see how the rubber hits the road, so to speak. And then lastly, I would say for those of you who are like, you know, Josh, I like watching your your stuff or whatever, but I'm not really into science fiction or fantasy. I'm more of a nonfiction kind of person. No big deal because um, that's, that's totally cool. I would say that if you have any friends or family that you want to get a gift for and you're always like, man, what do I get them? If they like science fiction or fantasy, this is a great um, way for them to get on board with a series that's just starting. And then I would also say too, along those same lines, is if you would like to support indie authors like me who are kind of fighting this uphill battle against traditional publishing and larger corporations, then this is your prime opportunity to help support that so that we can build awareness. And this is another thing too, right? Like you don't have to buy my book. You could just put a like on this video or share the video with people that you think might be interested in the story. Because at the end of the day, it's about spreading awareness so that other like-minded people who would appreciate this kind of Realm Wars universe where there's dif different alien species and and um, and technology and, and realms and things like that. It's I'm trying to build a long-term space that people can go and start to build that's not already established star wars and and lord of the rings and people like that like they have their i'm part of those fan bases but those have also been kind of tainted lately because of the large conglomerates that are involved in them this is a grassroots s startup so to speak that's i i would like my hope would be that Eventually, this becomes one of the science fictions of our generation that we all get to build together without outside influences tainting it. So if you're a part of that or you know somebody who might be excited about something like that, then please share this with them. Okay, uh, I'm sure I forgot a lot of things that I wanted to say or tell you guys, but I believe that's about all that I can remember. So again... I'll leave a link down below. And then for those of you who are also indie authors and you want to find out like, all right, Josh, how did you set this up? I would like to have a setup too where I can have all of these pages and things on my website. Don't worry. Over the course of the next few days, I'll be releasing, or well, I should say weeks, I'll be releasing some videos to explain how I did that. Okay. And then also, last thing, now see, now I'm remembering stuff. Also, what I will do is um, I'll start referencing as I go th over monomyth and hero's journey characters. I'll start referencing my own characters now too because now there's enough content that's built up that I can point to that and say, look guys, there's not only the, the, the tropes or the, the stories that you guys have seen, but here's how I, my bad, Here's how I literally translated it in my own mind to my own story. That way you can see like that's the process that I go through. So, all right, ladies and gentlemen, I appreciate you. If you stay with me this long, um, please like, share, and subscribe. If you have any questions, drop them down in the questions or comments below. And until next time, take it easy.